this pixel can track uh, events such as page views, add to cart, purchase whenever there's any purchase done on your website, uh, the scroll depth the, the, that I was talking to you about whenever the customer is scrolling up or down on your website and also if if you want to know if your blocks in your homepage are being effective you can use the, the Facebook pixel and you will know that okay sorry about my health um, okay time on page also if the customer is way like spending a lot of time maybe it is because the customer is interested or maybe he just doesn't understand entirely so you have to do a little more changes on your website okay to make it to make everything work on your end perfectly and a lot of much more things okay now i will show you how to embed your facebook pixel in your website okay one second if you're here do not forget to type in the chat i will be happy to help you Um, excuse me again. Here, this is the dashboard that you will get uh, as soon as you integrate your pixel. Okay. However, let's go. Let's create a new pixel, and I will show you how I put it in my in my website or ordering university app. For example, here, let me show you ordering university. Oh no, this was the page. Okay, as you can see here, I have already gathered um, some more information about, about my website. I put a few things whenever there's a purchase, whenever someone adds something in the cart, whenever there is a, a lead, like someone who registers. I put a few uh, e events here so I can understand what is happening on my website. Uh, here you can see 50% of your page views events are receiving the following hash it da, da, da. and a lot of more information right here events received parameters purchase sorry there's a there's a plane somewhere uh and, and also it gives you a few more insight about about your website and everything right here add to cart for example right now if I start I will start an order let's see find business in I will just start triggering a few things that will fire up my pixel okay which is already set up however I want to show you like everything right here it's 1 p.m. here is, is 2 p.m. is Mexico City time so here the last event received was 20 21 minutes ago I will refresh this let's, let's just wait for this to also it will say here which URL you are triggering okay you will start getting like more information as, as the as the time pass by also you can see here a few more things that Facebook Pixel will will help you with. Okay. Let's see if we reload this. Okay. 
I will get it in a few, in a few minutes. This is not like very instant, you know. So now I will show you how to integrate it. I mean, you will ge be getting all the information right here, like daily or something like that. And then the cool thing about Facebook Pixel is that according to this data, you can then create Facebook ads for your business. So uh, you know, Facebook is one of the biggest social media to be exposed in. So uh, if you are there, everyone will be able to see you right away. I mean, they just type your name and you will show also if they are looking for food or clothes or groceries or anything you are selling and uh, you will get the information right away and the ads will be more uh, effectively directed to those customers okay and you will gather more leads and therefore more sales george welcome how are you <laughs> today we're talking about facebook pixel so if you have any question type it in the chat I have already explained it a little bit of how this works, everything. I will create a, an article and share it with you in the, in the YouTube channel so you can take a deeper look. You Actually, you can already see a few that I have found about Facebook uh, business and everything. So please take a look at them and just learn everything that you can to, to get more sales, okay? Um, so let's integrate our facebook pixel right so the first thing we have to do is click here. i mean when when you you have to start to you have to create a, a pixel first right you have to create a, a pixel account so you will go in business.facebook.com then a screen will show saying that you have to create the, the account okay after this is created, you will see you will you will get something like this, a dashboard kind of looking like this. If you don't get directly in this page, just go in business tools, click events manager, just like I did. It'll show something like this. It will show all of your pixels pixels activated right now. Then I will click connect data sources. I will create the new data source for website if if you are on on apps it doesn't matter the apps the the, the hybrid apps the ones that most of our customer have works uh, with this web setting okay so we'll get we click get uh, website sorry then we are going to click facebook pixel then we're going to click connect here we have to name our pixel or game university pixel uh, lesson pixel something like that i mean you you of course have to name it as your as your project right and here you will have to put your url uh, i will put the all game universities one i will put it at home okay like this that I think I, I since I have already done that let's see if it works okay it works when you get to this point um, you will have to click in code manually it, it don't worry it's not like a big developers uh, thing to do you can do it I mean I did it so don't worry about it um, you will click here here you can see the code okay you will copy this code then you will go in your builder it's very easy then you will go in your website or your app and here in third party you will paste the code this one is is another one that we have for for a font so it will go below this one just like that i just copy and paste it i will update this website okay now it is updated i will upgrade my version update 
Yes, Sunil, it, it is going to be the same for the apps. I will just finish website first and then I will jump into the app to show you. No problem. Also, there is something very important I have to explain you about the apps in Facebook Pixel world, how it works and everything. So, I will update my website now. It will take a few minutes. Okay. After that is pasted, I will click continue. If you can, if you want, you can turn on this. Uh, there is there is like more enhancements as soon as as you move on with the pixel. So you have to take a deeper look. Okay, at the event, blah blah blah. Let's just wait for this to. Okay, this is loading. It will load. Now this page has the new pixel. So we cannot see it, of course. I will click yes. It is upgraded. Okay, now as you move on in this setup, now you can add events. So I will click the launch the setup. I will put my site right here. Yeah, receive. Okay. I clicked enter. Okay. Whenever you're here, if it doesn't show you this, the, if this button is gray, just click enter. Okay. Now, as you can see, I am using my Facebook pixel is showing me the website that we are putting some events in. Okay. This means that it worked. And also it means that we can also put some cool events right here you have some uh, tips right here so I will just click get started here I will say I will click track and URL the event will be mm, view content since we since the, since the customer is going to be on our website he's going just uh, to to view the content right here so we're going to click Contains and home. Okay, it must match this one. Okay, so that this is the one. I will click confirm. So this is a an event that my pixel will will tell me like, hey, someone view your your homepage. Okay, but we can get this even like more advanced. As you can see. I click the track, uh, the track new button. So I will add one of these, just like this, and then I will click right here. I will, I will say, okay, whenever someone clicks here, you tell me that um, the customer is looking for the location, okay? And then if I go here, this new, um, this new screen will show. So I will click uh, in, in track and also I can put it right here so I understand that the customer also is looking for the location in this button I will click accept oh I put in pickup oh this is this is only for pickup okay Fifth Avenue. Now, when you, we are in the, you can move this. You can say right here, okay. Let's click on whenever the customer clicks on all. This means he is searching. So, if the customer clicks there, it will tell me the customer is searching. Now we're getting the in the button right here. There are just a few highlighted. Those are the functions that you can work on. However, if I open a product and I click uh, the, the the other track button, you can you can select something here, and this event is going to be add to cart. Okay, so we have added that also. Now, 
if we click that button this is add a few things minimum fill maximum fill go like that let's just add another new button check out this can be the initiate 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 i don't know how to say check out just confirm like that this is going to tell us that at checkout is being is, is getting started so we're going to click checkout then let's see track new button let's see what we have here okay the place order button has an event that we are going to put it as process do not do not track anything about those place your order okay it says place order and then to this url you are going to put also mm, well purchase also i will confirm this and finish setup finish setup as you saw we have put we have uh, added a lot of events to our new facebook pixel Right now, it says your pixel hasn't received any activity. So what we're going to do is create a few orders and check if the, if the pixel is getting some information. I will just create a few orders here, like this. Add that check out cash place order etc okay anything i will just start buying things like that this is a test so don't worry about it okay let's see are we getting something right now test events overview nothing yet no that is already added by the website let's see if we can get some more information with this sometimes it takes longer okay so we have to be patient cash place order okay let's see are we getting something oh we We have gotten a lot of events now, or what? Yeah, processed. Okay, as you can see, I, ha I have gotten a, a lot of this on the test, so it'll work as soon as the events are coming through. They will show here, just like they show right here. It, it will show like this. It takes a few minutes. That is why it's not showing like right away. But if you test the events and you see this is working, it's saying processed, everything is working fine, it will just take a little bit longer for you to, to see it right here, okay? For the apps, Sunil, for the apps, I cannot show you, I mean, you integrate it the same, you have to go in your builder and you will have to put it in the third party and everything, but the apps must be live must be in the stores with the facebook pixel code in in them like here here in the head and uh, it has to be the latest version of the apps and everything i mean uh, after that you will have you you can see the the results in your in your facebook pixel use the same I recommend you to create two pixels, one for website and one for apps, and do use the same process of, for, of installing it. You cannot test with uh, like with the UDID on iPhones or just installing your APK, something like that, no. Because uh, those kind of tests are saying debug or sandbox or something like that in your devices, and Facebook won't get the information. However, if you if you are getting those by the store, they will send information because they are going to say release. Okay, so let's see. We are in the 
yeah, as you can see, the information is now getting getting here. We have now the events and everything. It'll take a few minutes. So just so you know, just be patient and the information, all the information will get right here. So guys, that is, that is the process on how to integrate your Facebook Pixel. This is kind of how it works. I'm, I'm no expert. However, I have put in the description a lot of uh, important articles that will guide you for to get the most of this pixel in the future I will also dig in a little bit more and uh, give you tips and everything okay. and see you tomorrow be safe guys we're almost done with this